Now let's go to meteorologist Kirk Greenfield for another look at the forecast. Kirk. Well, the snowfall uh, came to an end a bit after the noon hour as we started to see a thaw, but now we're refreezing, making driving, well, a little bit of a challenge, even though we don't have a, a large amount of snow left. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. You can see how the uh, freeze has affected it. The computer knows that we are at the freezing point, so it converts everything over to blue and white. And as you can see, there are a couple of different waves pushing through the mid-Ohio Valley here. It looks like we're coming out of the back edge of one of these waves that is coming through. As a result, there will be a period where it will improve. But viewing right now is not the best on the Highmark West Virginia Skycam. 32 degrees, it feels like 23. The relative humidity is 79%. Now the winds out of the west at 13 miles per hour is causing that wind chill. So you want to dress warmly hat, coat, gloves if you're going out tonight. The barometer 29.78 inches is rising. Taking a look at our current temperatures around the area, 32 is very common in the area. 33 at Charleston and over in Cincinnati as well. The winds from the west 12 to 13 miles per hour now. And as a result, there is significant wind chill through the region. How much different than yesterday? We're about 10 degrees colder than we were yesterday at this same time after that cold front blew through. Most recent radar echoes, again, we're looking at the darker purples here as being a little bit heavier snowfall rate, but we're not expecting to see as much accumulation as we saw this morning. It's all pinwheeling around a low pressure center that's over the Great Lakes, and that's bringing a, a, a slug of snow that looks like it's on track for eastern Kentucky and just barely a glancing blow as it goes past the mid-Ohio Valley. Futurecast picks up on this and says we'll have a fairly quiet night, but there are one or two snow flurries that will be coming down from the Pennsylvania area as we start Friday and it looks like we're going to warm up just enough that we're going to come to melting as we go through the evening. Once that clears, it looks like it'll be fairly quiet and dry into Saturday. So the total through Friday afternoon, less than one inch, a little higher as we get into the hills of West Virginia. Tonight's forecast, well, we're going down to about 30, but temperature is going to be pretty steady right around freezing tonight. Cloudy with a lingering snow shower or two. When we look at tomorrow, up to 42, 43, so anything that falls is going to melt away. Light rain at times, staying cloudy and breezy as well. Looking at that seven-day forecast, we'll try to stay above freezing after tonight, and it does look like we'll be pretty successful into next week, but then we're going to drop below freezing as we get to Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.